hello uh, dear students uh, let uh, welcome back to our discussion on refrigeration and air conditioning today let us uh, take the case of a steam jet uh, refrigeration system uh, which is a indirect method of uh, producing refrigeration by uh, using a um, principle the main working principle of this uh, steam jet refrigeration system is suppose we are uh, in, uh, suppose we are decreasing the uh, pressure on a surface of a liquid then that liquid will be uh, experiencing more or uh, there will be an increase in the evaporation of uh, liquid molecules from that uh, liquid surface okay so that we already experience in nature suppose we are having any uh, liquid surface like this so so here you can see there is a, uh, a flash chamber or evaporator which is a very large vessel containing some uh, cold uh, water okay or uh, especially chilled water so you can see a water level surface over here suppose uh, using some method suppose we can reduce the uh, uh, prevailing pressure or uh, pressure maintained on over the surface of this uh, water suppose we can reduce this pressure Uh, so what will happen more and more water molecules will be escaping the surface of this chilled water and uh, uh, thereby cooling the uh, cooling down the remaining water okay so this um, um, uh, uh, energy required for uh, vaporization or latent heat of vaporization will be taken by the surrounding uh, will be taken from the surrounding water molecules and those uh, water molecules which are escaping this uh, chilled water surface will be uh, admitted to the next uh, areas which which will be driven away by the uh, uh, some other medium okay so what is happening here so uh, so he, here what is happening is uh, somehow this uh, chilled water is getting produced okay and uh, this chilled water uh, which is already uh, having a very low temperature that will be uh, admitted to a refrigerated space okay refrigerated space means we, we, the area which we wants to cool down okay so we will be circulating this chilled water in and around that area or the refrigerated space by means of a circulating pump okay so this chilled water after passing through this refrigerated space it will be absorbing heat from that refrigerated space so there will be uh, some uh, some uh, heat load kept at this uh, uh, refrigerated space it can be uh, some vegetables or it can be some uh, uh, human beings uh, or it can be some equipments which need to be refrigerated so some so, so for so from so, such refrigerating or heat heating loads this chilled water will be taking up heat and this chilled water after taking up heat will be converted into warm water so this warm water it will be again admitted over this chilled water surface through a sprinkler or uh, through a tiny sprayer okay so when this warm, warm water is uh, coming out of this sprayer unit so it will be uh, uh, atomized or it will be uh, Uh, split into very tiny particles so due to this uh, spraying action or due to this uh, sudden expansion to this large volume inside this evaporator or this flash chamber this warm water after this spraying uh, it will be getting converted uh, into uh, vapor form okay so this warm water will be getting converted into vapor form mainly due to this spraying action okay so uh, uh, this uh, uh, warm water getting converted to vapor form uh, it needs energy uh, from where does it uh, get that energy from this chilled water okay so uh, uh, this water which is already getting chilled or it which is already getting cooled it is uh, losing out its heat for uh, this vapor formation okay this vapor is getting formed from out of this uh, warm water getting which is getting sprayed over this water surface okay so it it this uh, warm water after getting transformed into vapor it will be forced into this section how that is getting forced so here uh, there is some other arrangement like this there is a tiny nozzle over here this uh, through this tiny nozzle uh, steam high high velocity steam uh, is admitted from a boiler okay so Uh, for the time being you understand that from this boiler a high sp high velocity steam uh, will be admitted to this uh, portion called ejector okay through this tiny nozzle so when this high velocity steam is uh, 
coming into this section uh, from this boiler uh, due to this high velocity of the steam uh, coming at the end of this uh, out of this nozzle uh, a very low pressure area will be uh, created at this area uh, due to which whatever warm water uh, vapor form is getting formed uh, above this chilled water surface that vapor will be uh, drawn or it will be uh, forced to move into this area okay so this vapor along with this high speed uh, uh, or high velocity jet of steam it will be forced through a, uh, a tiny uh, cross sectional area which will be increasing the uh, velocity or it, it it will be increasing the uh, pressure of that uh, high speed uh, steam along with this uh, warm water vapor okay and and it will be the it, it, this mixture of uh, the or this mix of uh, high high velocity steam along with uh, this uh, vapor form of this warm water both of them will be admitted to a condenser where it will be losing out its uh, heat okay so there will be a cooling water circuit there uh, this this uh, this arrow shows the inlet of this cooling water circuit this arrow shows the outlet of this cooling water circuit so this um, uh, combination of warm water vapor and this high speed steam it will be losing out its heat to this cooling water circuit so after losing out that heat this cold water will be uh, pumped uh, by a circulating pump onto the boiler where uh, by means of uh, any heat source uh, this um, water will be getting converted to high speed uh, steam uh, in this boiler and this steam from this boiler will be admitted to the nozzle and this cycle will be uh, uh, continuously uh, getting uh, executed and uh, due to this formation of uh, vapor form of this uh, vapor form of this water vapor this uh, chilled water will be again getting chilled or the water will be again continuously getting cooled it is this uh, uh, cooled and cooled uh, water water which is uh, pumped uh, to the uh, required space where this refrigeration is required and it will be producing the required refrigeration so this is a indirect method of producing refrigeration uh, without the use of uh, 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 a refrigerant or here this chilled water itself is used as the refrigerant over here okay so uh, here we do not require a, uh, a very high energy or high energy uh, high electricity uh, uh, consuming compressor like that so here instead of a compressor we are simply using a uh, uh, mainly two uh, two hydraulic pumps one one over here and one over here okay and also here we are using a boiler also but compared to the working of uh, this boiler or pump uh, these two pumps the uh, in, uh, uh, the energy consumption by a compressor uh, a dedicated compressor can be brought down okay so we can have a, a large amount of energy savings by avoiding the uh, working of a high energy consuming compressor over here okay so this is the idea of steam jet refrigeration system so thank you all uh, you uh, draw this diagram and study uh, it thoroughly